back to the sports couch and today it is Saturday so we are going to talk about baseball and what we're going to do today is we are going to talk top 10 pitchers. We are not going from the old times back Mariano Rivera those guys. Um, we are going to do the ones in 2022. First, we're going to go right to drum roll, please. Adam Wainwright. So, Adam Wainwright. So, I'm not going like the top best to like the bottom best. Adam Wainwright, like not like the best pitcher to the worst. I'm just going to go really good pitchers all together. Adam Wainwright, he is on the St. Louis Car Cardinals. I don't know if he got traded, I'm not paying attention to that stuff right now. He probably still is on the Cardinals, but he may get traded, I don't know. Um, he it also is going on the USA team for the Olympics, which is pretty exciting. He has a really good stance. He does um, do a windup and then he throws. Throw. Um, yeah, so that's the first pitcher today. The second pitcher we're going to be doing is Justin Verlander. Justin Verlander is on the Astros and he was one of their best pitchers. Justin Verlander actually won um, the one his team, the Astros, won the 2022 World Series. But some breaking news: Justin Verlander is now on the Mets, the New York Mets. So that's pretty exciting if you're a Mets fan. He is so good, and that's really exciting for you guys. He pitches so fast. And his curves and stuff, like, I don't even, can't throw a curve. I'll probably hit you guys, but like, whoa. Yeah, I can't, there's no way I can. He throws fastballs. He, this guy's insane. He's like one of the best. He is awesome. So that's really exciting if you're a Met fan. Probably really sad if you're an Astros fan. Okay, the first pitch is a four seam fastball. You, if you're like seven, if you're seven and older, then you could probably do this. Two fingers, like the pointer and the index, go around the horseshoe. So then, when you throw it, it looks like this, and that's how you do it. So. The next picture we are going to be talking about is, this is really exciting, Jacob DeGrom. So Jacob DeGrom was really good. The, he was on the New York Mets. Well, he's on the New York Mets. Um, he, he, he's known for his insane fastball. His fastball, I don't know what he's throwing, but he's insane. Um. But sadly, if you're a Met fan, Jacob DeGrom is now on the Texas Rangers. So he got traded. I don't know why the Mets did that trade. That was kind of funky of them because they were his best pitcher and he's one of the best. But lucky for the Texas Rangers, now they got a really good pitcher on their side. So. The next picture we're going to be talking about is from the New York Yankees. His name is Garrett Cole. He is known also for his fastball and his knuckle curve. Whoa! I don't know how he throws a knuckle curve. Um, he has been on the New York Yankees. I think he is still currently on the New York Yankees again this year. Like I said in the other video, the Yankees really didn't trade anyone except Jameson Tyone. Garrett Cole is also, I think he beat 
the Yankees' most strikeouts. So he this year, Garrett Cole, 2022, well, it's 2023, which is exciting. Um, but Garrett Cole in 2022 beat the most strikeouts in the Yankee history. So that is pretty exciting for Garrett Cole. Um, yeah, so if you're a Yankee fan, that is really exciting for you. And if you didn't know that, that's pretty exciting to know. He th he th he's kind of like me. I don't like to wind up like some guys that like go all the way up. He does a light wind up and throws it as hard as he can or a knuckle curve. This knuckle curve is dangerous. He's he's one of those guys that gets so many just strikeouts. But he's also one of the guys that hit, people hit a lot of home runs on because he throws that insane knuckle curve. Sometimes that knuckle curve can be dangerous and people will hit home runs on him. But some guy, sometimes, most of the time, he'll throw a fastball, fastball, and then he'll go knuckle curve and it's like, oh, he struck him out. I was at a game once and I knew he was gonna strike everyone out, so, I just went to go get some food, and what do I hear? What do I hear? Strike three! <laughs> do, 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 do. And he struck everyone out. Um, he is such a good pitcher, and that's why he made it to top 10. So the second pitch is a two seam two seam fa fastball. It's where you see two horseshoes and you put them in between the horseshoes. This is how it's done. And that's how it's done. He, next picture we're gonna be talking about, Enwin Diaz. Enwin Diaz, he is a closer. He also was the Met. He is on, currently on the New York Mets. He so that that was their first pick. So the Mets that was the first like person that they knew was on the Mets. They signed him. That was the first person. Edwin Diaz is also known from his song called Narco that you can I'll link in the description below. Um if you have an Alexa then just say Alexa play Narco. song and to know that that's Edwin Diaz's song. He is so good. He's known for his fastball. Whenever he walks in, they play that song. Um, so yeah, he's a very notable pitcher. Yeah, so how many did we do so far? Adam Wainwright, Justin Verlander, Garrett Cole, Jacob DeGrom, and Edwin Diaz. Did I forget any? Comment down below if I did. So that's five. Now we are gonna take a little break to thank our sponsor.